Hey YouTube. Okay, so this is uh, just to carry on because I worked out that the other boost converter was a it was acting pretty lame. It was opening that a little bit of power really. Um, and this seems to work okay. I've just been I just wired up this little uh, Slayer um, coil and I had my power supply plugged in to the same um, circuit as what everything else is on including the computer over there and when I got up to about 30 volts it was making a horrible noise across my speakers and I didn't want to risk um, being a problem to my computer while it's on or anything else like that and so what I did was I, I connected again to the, to the different uh, ring coming from downstairs and I connected into that and put it back on again and it doesn't happen so that's good something that's um, worth taking note of maybe if you do get problems so okay so at the minute it's, it's powered on by the xbox it's going straight into the boost and then into here and this is set for zero volts but i can turn it up here and I turn it on i hit that set button click across we go on to volts i'm taking all day doing this at the minute it's half a watt nine volts we got oscillation over there, look, bit of a mess. Uh, LEDs on. No breakout, oh, breakout's just started. Breakout's just started. Let's turn that up. Okay, what we got? We got 27 volts, we got 42 watts, 1.5 amps, 30 volts, 60 watts. Let's uh, gotta be careful of the amps and we've got to be careful of the voltage. So here we are, we're at 100 watts, 110 watts, nearly 3 amps at 40 volts. I don't know if that can pick up as in detail. Let's turn it off see how far we can take it. So 140 watts, 3.2 amps, 44 volts. And I'm just going to back that off before. Oh, look, I did notice that happened before. Um, and it was making all the noise as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect the power. And when it did that before and I turned it back on again, uh, it worked fine. So, I'm turn it back on. Let's put back in again. There we go, we're booting back up. It all seems to be okay. I'm pretty sure my circuit's okay, so we'll just turn that back on again. Uh, hit the volts. So we can go up in ones. The oscillation over there, it's always nice to see. Should I have a little bit of breakout in a second? Oh no, we've got no LED on. There we go. I don't know if it's because I was too close to it, you know, because I'm actually touching this thing, so we'll see how far we can take this up. That's 140 watts. Back, back down again. Okay. Well, so far, so good. Just turn that power off. I connect up my. If I can do that without disturbing anything, um, I'll turn that back on again. Let me just see if we got any difference now. Uh, we get an oscillation, yeah, kicked straight in. Break out. Oh! Okay, so we've now got the screen has gone like that, so I'm going to just back it all the way off, turn that off, and recycle the power. Oh, 
I'm sort of pretty confident that it's um, it's going to work again, just because for the last couple of times it has worked. Um, well, let's see what happens. Put back in again. Okay, it's rebooting. Heard a little high pitch squeal when it first came on. Turn it back on. Get an oscillation. It's just going to kick in quite violently in a second. Yep. Straight to 55 watts. Uh, I should do a temperature check really, shouldn't I? But it should be alright for a minute. Let's put it about 100 watts. There we go, 102 watts. Oh, that's quite nice. Let's go a bit further. Peaking at 148, but then that power supply. Um, this power supply is, I think, about 175 tops. And I'm limited because I've not got this turned up full blast. I think that's on. That's on 49. I can turn it up to. I suppose I got to have a <laughs> Turn it up to 50 on the input. Um, well, just below 60 will do it because it can go to 60. And then we might be able to just squeeze a couple more watts of power out of this. Okay, so that's 58. 58 on the input, I hope you can see that. And let's turn it back on again, because it's still going to be coming on, on zero. Um, oh. Okay, we've got oscillation over there. Okay, so that's 50 watts, and that's 100 watts, 110, okay, we've got some squealing, that's the most I can get out of it, uh, 150, that could be uh, a little bit down to the power supply, there was a little bit of squealing there, but the nice thing about it, look, because even though this is, uh, you know, it's, it's been interfered with a couple of times and it's um, shut itself down, it didn't do anything crazy. It didn't like just open full power or anything to the circuit. It cut the circuit off, which is uh, you couldn't really ask for more. So, so so far so good. That's a that's a good good little test. I think it's damn close to the circuit. It's open. Um, and there'll be a nice bit of radiation, you know, in this area here, because if I were to get a light bulb, I'm pretty sure that we'd have some nice, uh, nice effects. So let me just um, put a top cap on it and see what we can do with a screwdriver with pulling off a bit of plasma and see how it holds up to that, because that's really, I think, when it's going to be spiking and cutting in and out the most, and that's when it's probably going to kill it. So let's see what happens. Here. Okay, so uh, what have I done? Anything? No, nothing. I just replugged it back in again. So we've got some power there. We got power here. We got power here. Uh, we're still on that. It does say 50 volts, doesn't it? 58 volts. I'm pretty sure that says 58 volts. So yeah. And so let's switch it on. I put a little pin on top for a breakout. Uh, I say a little pin, it's a big old pin. Uh, right, let's turn this sucker up. Okay, got some oscillation over there, it's always good to see. No breakout just yet, it's got a 
pop itself out, so I'm going to try and help this along. Nope, that didn't do it. Okay, okay. Nothing really special. That's at 30 volts, 58 watts. So let's turn it up. Let's go to 40 volts. Well, that's 130 watts, that's quite a bit. That looks pretty actually. That's 135 watts. That's quite high. We've got a high pitch noise. 145 watts. 40 volts, 3.37 amps. Well, it hasn't died. And you got to see um, a couple of examples of what can happen to it you know when you're doing this sort of thing but that's not done too bad now I didn't put my single core on as you can tell as you can see I've got the double that's two turns on that one um, but as we can only seem to get 40 volts uh, you know the 145 watts I can't see it's getting any more than that and um, I'm pretty sure that this um, power supply is 175 watts but, you know we're going to lose some power in this boost and down so that probably doesn't seem too far off it maybe what we might lose in between uh, the boost and the book and, the, and this being uh, as efficient to the, the full amount of wattage I don't know I don't know I'm just chatting but it's nice to see it didn't break and that was what I was trying to find out whether I was going to be able to like sit and play with this coil and whether I was going to have a problem with this just dying on me or just going weird every two seconds but as you can see yourselves um, it doesn't do too bad at all doesn't do too bad at all so I'm going to give that my thumbs up now I'm going to, that's it, I'm quite impressed with that the only thing I haven't done is I had to look at like, ripple noise or anything like that but I can do that in another one uh, but so far, so blooming good hmm. I just thought I'd add this little bit to the video. Um, I got a strip, strip lamp there, there's a strip lamp there. And there's this uh, ring lamp thing, and I got a bulb. I'll put a 10 millifarad, 80 volt capacitor. Really, whether it's going to make much of a difference. I think everything's a bit too fine to tell. You know, one of these things either works or it doesn't really. So, right, we've got power in, so let's switch it on. Output. Press that, press that twice, go pin bolts. We've got oscillation. Yep. What else we got? That strip lamp's on already. Okay, what are we on? 16 volts. Okay, let's uh, turn it up a bit. You get like about five seconds before this. Oh, a little bit of breakout, 21 volts. So we should have a little bit more on this. Oh, yeah. I think that's a good bulb. I don't want to break it, but I think it's a 100 watt bulb I use for. Current limiting. Oh, I just missed that then. I just saw it go out. For volts. Uh, about 50 watts. Oh. 
It'd be nice to have one of those plasma balls. They look really nice, I've seen them. They're pretty bright. Get a fair bit of radiation. That's at 50 watts, 26 volts. a little bit warm but I'd expect that. Okay, that's it just to try and end the video. Don't want it to be too long. It's gonna be too long anyway. <laughs>